Hello, hi, and welcome to my channel, Lamin the Ad Guy, where we talk about advertising and marketing and everything in between. My name is Lamine, and today we are going to be talking about ad spending. Yes, we are going to talk about specifically in the digital realm where I am so interested in and hoping that you all take this information and learn more about advertising in a awesome way. Um, today we're going to talk about U.S. digital ad spending and how it has surpassed to $200 billion dollars. Um, by 2022 right now is November 2021 and so we're close to 2022 um, that's crazy it's intense I was able to pull an article from the website marketing tech I think that their info might be credible so I saw an article about digital ad spending um, and how they projected to pass 200 billion dollars that's so much money marketers marketers are trusting digital advertising so much more I mean I think part of that's because of COVID and the pandemic and a lot of shift from brick and mortar stores towards digital websites um, has definitely been an increase over the few years and that's been I know it sucks to say but it's been sort of positive for like digital marketers and but it's been a little bit tougher in regards that they have more competition more than ever now you know that's kind of a bittersweet type of feel but I digress we're going to talk about a little bit of this article that I came across. It talks about ad, ad spending. Ad spending in the U.S. digital advertising industry will cross $200 billion mark in 2022 after reaching $190.43 billion in 2021. That is a lot of billions. And that's only in digital, no, let alone traditional advertising avenues and media streams. So that's awesome. And you know, I was part of that. Not billions of dollars worth, but I was part of that. And that's awesome. This is a 14.8% growth from the year prior when digital advertising ad spending in the U.S. only reached $165.81 million? What? That's insane. That can't be right. Million? Mm. You're telling me, hold on. That digital advertising went from 165.81 million to almost 200 billion? What? Am I tripping? That can't be right. That's not right. Um, according to data presented by Weta D in 2022, which is not the year yet, but I guess, you know. In some ways, that's how people launch cars. You know, they launch the year before it comes out. It's kind of weird in that way. The industry is set to surpass $200 billion for the first time ever after pro a projected growth of an additional 10.7%. When broken down into four main segments, search advertising, which is what I do the most, is projected to have the highest spend in 2021 amounting to 78.5 billion an increase of 17.8 percent from 2020 that's a pretty good increase seriously that's huge banner advertising is projected to have their next largest spend at 68.78 billion dollars after projected growth of 10.1 percent 
video advertising, which I am a big advocator of, I love video advertising, is projected to grow the most in 2021 with an expected 18.5%. I know. I believe that. Something about video is so entertaining. You know, it's being able to utilize that in advertising just like you would utilize that on television. But, you know, it's a different medium. And so the experience is different. And it's not just you watching television. You know, you have an opportunity to truly interact with users online. So definitely have a great strategy for that. In 2018, ad spending by device shifted from being desktop dominant to mobile dominant as digital advertising on mobile recorded a 54% share of all ad spend compared to just 49% the year prior. In 2021, share of digital advertising on mobile is projected to grow to 64%. And reach the 70-30 split mark sometime in 2024. Wow. Apparently people don't like desktops anymore. No, I'm kidding. People still like desktops. It's, it's just more convenient. I guess people are spending more time on their phones than ever before. That's so wild, right? Ever before. No one is at the computer that long, you know, or maybe they are. I I, I always feel like the, you know, the office clerk or people that work in office are using the computer and banners come out. So like the 70, 30 split. But if you think about it, you know, you have 24 hours of the day, you're asleep for eight of those hours. And then you have, I guess, 16 hours of whatever you're going to do. And if you're at a desk for, let's say, seven and a half hours a day, which is not that good, you know, you know, everyone, it's good to walk around and let's not say sitting at the desk, even though I am technically sitting at a desk right now, other people stand up at desks, some people have yoga balls, but I'm not at my desk for seven and a half hours. That's intense. But I do use my phone and I and like my phone does show like a usage of how long I'm on it. So that could be an interesting take. You know, not everyone's the same, so their phone usage is definitely different. It's interesting that like mobile is just taking over. Everyone has a phone nowadays, especially the common consumer. We believe in the common consumer, right? You know, the person that loves the sales on Cyber Monday or the person who would get up um, just to wait for that new product to be on the market launch. We love those people. Um, there is a there is this sense of like want in the product or service that you want, but there's also a sense of need. You know, not all, not all advertising is just to fulfill the want. Sometimes it's a necessity. I'm just saying. But yeah, no, we're just gonna say it that way. The retail industry was the biggest digital ad spender in the U.S. in 2021, with a 26% share of total ad spending. Obviously, come on. Farmer and healthcare were the second largest spender at 18.8%, while financial service were the third. Okay, uh, that sounds credible, right? I don't know. It sounds realistic, you know? Retail industry, when you have to shift a lot of your products from, you know, in store to digital and shipping, man, you got to give it up to the delivery drivers and the delivery systems and processes last year was just intense in regards to um just everything so that's that's kind of cool i am i am 
happy that marketers are continuing to utilize digital medium um, to show their ads. You know, we love ads in all the different ways. It's interesting that social didn't get any love. You would think so. Maybe they consider social like digital banners, but that, I don't know if that makes sense. I consider social its own entity nowadays. What do you all think? You, you all think digital like banners are considered like social? I don't see their video. I'm probably going to do a separate um, video on video advertising because I feel like that is my realm as I grow up in this digital marketing world. I want to create awesome ads with video. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'd be so excited. It's something that I might have to just brainstorm ideas and just, you know, show you all some of the creative juices in my head about different ads. That'd be awesome. I am excited that digital marketing continues to grow. Um, it makes me feel that I chose the right lane in regards to evolution and growth. Not that traditional marketing, I mean, traditional advertising is bad because I still have so much respect and love for it. But it's cool to see that the route that I took is still working in my favor. I kind of want to do some research on what television did for 2021. If it's possible. All right. So I'm on, I'm not even going to say it because you all are going to think I'm embarrassing. What is like, I use this platform, what's it called? Statista, Statista. I just never know if I'm pronouncing pronouncing it right. Statista, I love stats. Um, it's one of those areas of math that I actually passed. And I think that's what makes me really good at my job. I'm so happy that I'm good at some sort of math. Um, I'm on Statista and they did a little breakdown of television advertising for I'm I'm hoping this year or at least a projection. I think they're credible, so we're going to give it a chance. So TV advertising worldwide, statistics and facts. Television has been an immensely popular and highly effective advertising platform for almost a century. True. True, true, true. I love television. I'm definitely going to do a video on television advertising. I think it's going to be awesome. But I digress. Thanks to its ability to reach millions of users, not users, viewers across the globe, TV has offered companies the perfect stage to promote their products and services. But, but while the format still manages to draw large audiences in many parts of the world, it is no longer... It no longer remained the primary source of news and entertainment else everywhere. True. True. I always think of how news has changed in, in so many aspects. Um, and how people get news nowadays versus how they did back in the day. And when I mean back in the day, I mean like literally 50 years ago, 60 years ago. It was very print-based news, and so the news outlets would get this, get this information, right? And it would break the day after, right? And then television came along. Well, that's not true. You know, I, I, I'm flubbing those years. It wasn't 50 years ago. It was probably like 80 years ago. Um, well, the idea is then television came along and then, you know, breaking news would come on the television and it would be faster to get your news. Now it's 
so instant with your phone. And I guess that's why people are on the phone all the time. <laughs> Goes back to the mobile. Goes back to mobile. Um, nowadays, news breaks are so instant. It happens all the time. And, and when one of these news outlets, you know, break the news, everyone is picking it up and resharing it and retweeting it and reblogging it and just putting it everywhere for everyone. So it's not just the people that are watching this television show, it's everybody around. Um, but let me go back to this. But while the format still manages to draw large audiences in many parts of the world, it no longer remains the primary source of news and entertainment everywhere. In 2020, global television advertising revenue dropped to 141 billion US dollars following the coronavirus outbreak. And even though revenues are expected to recover in the next few years, digital media is already overtaking TV as the top advertising medium worldwide. It's our time. Dun dun. Shh. It's kind of awesome, right? It makes me feel like I kind of understand the advertising direction. It makes me feel like I sort of know what's what what's going on. I feel like I'm on the right train. Um, like I said, this is new, good news for the industry that there is this shift from television towards digital. You know, I love digital. You know, if you're not into digital. I don't know how you're going to, you know, continue in a growing stage. That's not fair. That's not fair. TV and uh, everything is still, you know, gr still producing good numbers. It's just, it's just that this new way of, of, getting information and news is so dynamic and and awesome i was gonna say fierce fierce <laughs> oh that's cool that's cool that's some cool stuff that's some cool stuff wow oh, so i'm happy about the spending increasing in digital it just makes me feel like it's starting to feel as a it's starting to feel as the popular person in the in in the class and i just i just hope it doesn't um lose its steam and i hope that competitors uh you know if you're a competitor you're already on one of these digital you're already doing digital marketing one way or another you know i just hope that you choose me to do your advertising. Make the process a little bit better. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Uh, you know, competitors are probably going to be on all these platforms. Hopefully it doesn't get to a saturated place where the ads are unnecessary on each page. Like, let the ads make sense, at least. You know, let the ads and the content all make sense for the user. Give the user a great experience. I think that's what everybody wants at the end of the day. That when you do see a brand's ad being displayed on, on search or on a website or a blog or in a video content form, it or on social platforms it is relevant to the user you know everything's instant nowadays and we're able to connect in such a different way than ever before so it's it's good to see growth good to see growth that's that's pretty much it peoples let me know what you think about the the news 
<laughs> it's insane, right? It's awesome in a way too. And don't forget to like and comment under this video. All of that is awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe under this video. Bye.